blackmoldremediation.com, your online source for all things related to black mold, how it affects your health, and the buildings you enter, presents another mold story. On Monday, February 4th, 2008, an Iowa court made a very, very intriguing decision and decided to vote for consumers in, in a moldy home case. Now, this is very important. This is the first time that this has occurred, and it could open the floodgates for many, many more stories that are very similar. Uh, just look at the picture on your screen. See the mold growing on the drywall, on the ceiling, and on the walls of this home? Obviously, this is not a healthy scenario. Uh, yet, some organizations still do not tie mold growth uh, in a home or a commercial building to your health. Uh, obviously, this is not a healthy environment to live in. Okay, now let's look at some of the important parts of this article. Uh, look at the screen and what's highlighted. Uh, what this is saying here is that many times when you buy a home, you'll discover in your, in your contractors many, many exclusions that prevent uh, mold claims from being uh, placed on the home insurance policies. Um, and usually it's, it's because the, the insurance company will either put a cap on it or they'll drop you because of mold growth. Uh, many times it's just, like it says there, running into a brick wall uh, and many times they have to come out of their own bank account to take care of the problem. I'm sure you folks have heard of Aaron Brockovich, the movie that's made after her life story. Well, all that came from mold growth. Um, back uh, before the movie was came, became popular, uh, her story was that her and her entire family had to move out of their home in California uh, because of mold growth that was growing in the floors and walls and was causing many uh, uh, health problems for their family. So once again, it's not just a story. This is a common occurrence. It's happening more and more today. Now here's the important part of this article and why this case is so important. Uh, the Iowa Supreme Court uh, ruled that home builders can be held responsible for the workman, uh, workmanship of their homes they build long after the original buyers have moved out. So even if you move into a house that someone else originally purchased and, and built themselves, and the mold growth develops, you have the potential now at looking at the original builder for, for faulty workmanship. Now here's the scary part, talking about coming out of your own pocket. Uh, look right here. So far this couple has spent $25,000 on home repairs. $25,000. And just now they're finally on the way to trial trying to recoup some of that lost money. See, that's the downfall. It's not like you can go to court and say the builder built this improperly and get a big old, big old check to do whatever you want to do with. You have to show a loss first. This couple had to show a $25,000 loss before they could even go to trial to try and recoup their problems and their, their money. So there you have it. The latest news in the mold industry, once again presented to you by blackmoldremediation.com. To find more information on this topic, more information such as videos, downloads, and articles about black mold and how it affects your home and the buildings we're in, visit our website online at www.black-mold-remediation.com and click on the link for media downloads. You'll be able to find a ton more videos and a lot of downloads to give you more information on this topic. Until next time.